Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a compact stabilizer onto your boats here in Stormworks. I'll go over all the components you'll need, how to wire everything up, how to do the logic, and finally we'll actually test it out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and if anything else you'd like to see any of my future videos, while you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, Let's get straight into it and get started with this tutorial. So to get started, we're back here on the creative island just at the dock area. Uh, you can see I have just built up a quick boat to use for this example. And we're going to be having a look at this and see what a lot of small boats uh, these days actually suffer from is that a lot of them actually sway and can't stabilize themselves. As you can see here, the boat does rock quite a lot. Uh, it also picks its nose up as soon as you give it some more you can see there it, this this for me is not stable and of course the bigger the boat the more unstable they get depending obviously on the weight balance and so on and so forth so that's what we're going to be addressing by using a compact stabilizer and the whole point of this compact stabilizer is that if you can't fit a weight system into your boat uh, like an active weight system or ballast system you need another way to stabilize your boat so we're going to be using a couple different components that are back here in the workbench now so the first thing that we want to do is we want to find a way to actually figure out how are we going to be reading that the boat is swaying to the left or swaying in, um, pitching its nose up or down and we're going to be using a tilt sensor for that now i'll be placing everything down in this video in yellow uh, just so you can all see these components so you can see here we have one at the front that's going to measure if its nose is going too high or if it's going too low so the pitch of it and we're going to place another one just on the side here and that's going to be measuring its roll okay so you can tell if it's rolling or not running now how tilt sensors pretty much work is the closer you go you'll get a positive number if you go on the other direction you'll get a negative number and vice versa okay so we're gonna get a number out of these and you can see that we're gonna get a number out measure the tilt relative to the horizon okay perfect so we're gonna get a tilt out from that the next thing is we want a way to stabilize ourselves Okay. Now what we're going to be using for this video is we're just going to be using some fin rudders. You can either use regular fin rudders, you can use control surfaces, medium, large, whatever size you want. Okay. I'm just going to be, let's grab the small ones, why not? Okay. And I'm going to go and place a couple of them and I'm going to place them, let's go with down here. Now I'm going to turn my X axis on, so I'll place them on either side of the creation. And what I want to do is I want to place them with a positive facing up. Now you can do either side, you might just need to invert the signals that are going to them later on. Okay, I'm going to go with positive up here. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop it from rolling. Okay, that awful roll you saw earlier, we're going to get rid of that. And to get rid of it, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number from our tilt sensor and we're going to send it to our fin rudders. But we want a way to actually change that number that's coming from it. And we're going to be doing that with a function block. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a simple function block from my inventory here. I'm going to take the axis off again and you can see here I'm going to place the function block. Now, ideally you should place it inside your creation. I'm placing it on the outside so everyone can see in this video. We have a simple number coming from our tilt okay into our function block and in our function block what we're going to do is we're going to take that number from our tilt sensor which is x and we're going to times it by negative four okay we're going to times it by negative four so for example if you're giving it a one signal it's going to read out a negative four out of that okay same goes if you're giving it a 0 0.5 number it's going to give you back a negative two number okay so we got that so far we then need to send it to our fin rudders. The only thing is that with our fin rudders, if we both tell them to go positive, it's just gonna dig the boat down into the water. We want it to actually be inverted. So for example, if we're tilting too far to the left, we want one side to go down and one side to up to actually bring us back. Okay, and how we're gonna achieve that is we're gonna go and take that number coming from our function block, just over here, and we're gonna invert it to one of the fin rudders. Okay. So you can see I'm just placing an invert block down just over here, quite nice and simple so far. So that number coming out is firstly gonna go into our invert and then from our invert, it's gonna go to the left rotation here. The one that is not inverted, so directly from the function block is gonna go over to our 
fender rudder on the right hand side. Now, last thing we want to do before we can test out the roll to make sure the roll's working, we just need to go and give it some electric. So you can see here I've just gone given those two rudders electric and we can now go and spawn this in. Ideally now we should have zero roll on this boat going from left to right. Okay, so let's go and turn it on and let's go and pivot it again. And you can see straight away that is much more stable in comparison to what it was earlier. You can see there's almost zero roll going around on this. It's still rolling a little bit, so you can still tweak it. You can adjust that number. You can do negative three, negative four, negative five, etc., etc. You can adjust it if you want to. But you can see here it's almost 100% level. I can keep on turning it. I can do a sudden turn to the left, and it keeps it nice and level. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and try and level the pitch of this boat. Okay. We're going to be doing exactly the same principle. We're going to be taking this tilt over here and we're going to be using another function block. So I'm going to place another function block in the front. Okay. And we're once again going to be doing X times negative four. And we're going to take that again. So you can see here just coming from our tilt sensor into our function block. And then from a function block, we want to go to the same fin rudders. Now the problem is there's already a number going to that. So what we want to do is we want to add this number to the number coming from our other tilt sensor going into our fin rudders. So we're just going to grab a simple add. Now you could do all this logic inside a microprocessor if you wanted to. For the purpose of this video, I'm just using regular co logic components. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, this function block over here, measuring the pitch, we want to go into A and go into A. We're then going to go from there into our right rudder and from here into our left rudder. And then whatever the old symbols were, so for example, the inverted signal that's going to our left rudder and the non-inverted signal is going to our right rudder. We're going to add it together. So those two numbers are adding together to keep it really nice and stable. Okay. So all we have to do now is we can go and spawn it in. Okay. Nothing else you have to do and go and spawn in and we should now have quite a stable level boat. Okay, let's go and increase it up here. And you can see that water line is keeping quite nice and stable. Okay, it's quite nice and flat. We can go and turn the boat. You can see here it's really nice and stable. Now obviously the more throttle, the more issues you are going to encounter with this and um, obviously the bigger your boat, the more issues you are going to encounter. But you can continue tweaking those numbers but the same logic is going to apply here. If you're finding the nose is still pitching up too much, what you can additionally do is once you go and return it back to your back to your base here, is you can just go and return it and you can go and grab some more fin rudders and you can put some more fin rudders maybe underneath the boat or hidden inside it. That's completely up to you. So I'm gonna place a block here. Let's grab another fin rudder. Let's place it down here. We wanna do once again, positive facing up. Okay, so positive facing up here, just like that. Make sure we have electric just like before. So we can go and give it some electric single bolt just over here. And then lastly, we can go and give it the same function block that's meant to be going to the back. We can give it in the front. This hopefully will ensure that we're going to dig in the water. So we can go and spawn in once again. And ideally, if we start going up in the front, we should start going down. Okay, so those fin rudders should be counteracting what we have. Okay. So you can see here we are now, it is now bringing us nice and down there. We are jumping around the water a little bit, okay? That's just the throttle, I'm giving it way too much throttle. But you can see it's countering it, which is really quite nice. And we have a really nice and stable boat here. Look at that. That's almost perfectly level once I'm making that turn. And that wasn't possible earlier. That was not possible earlier. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this tutorial. If you want to obviously adjust it and modify it and alter it, you can do that as much as you want to. I also recommend you go and hide this inside your boat. You can move the tilt center wherever you want to. Ideally, you want it at the axis where it's going to get the most amount of adjustment. So the tilt center, if you place it in your middle of the boat, it won't get as much tilt as it was if you were higher up or if you were on the edge. Same goes as the front tilt center. If you place it at the back of the boat, it won't have as much tilt as it does from the front. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.